Hey folks, welcome to today's Fitness with Ike session powered by Urban Fitness Online. I am here with my lovely assistant, Chekho Fatso again, and we're going to run you through a quick workout just to get you active and to get you moving. We uh, decided to choose a smaller garden for today's workout, and just remember our workouts you can pretty much do anywhere, uh, whether you're in your lounge, in your garden, um, wherever you find some space to do the workout. So if you haven't done one of our workouts yet, just to give you a quick rundown of how we work, right? We're gonna do a quick warm up together. Once we're done with the warm up, we're gonna break up into our three different fitness levels. We call it the fitness traffic light. So green, yellow, and red. Green is for our novices, yellow is for our intermediates, and red is for our advanced. So as we go through, I'll coach you on each exercise. For some of the exercises, we'll also have different variations for you to work through. So all depending on where you are on the journey, we'll have a, a, a level specific workout for you to do. We're gonna start the workout with a basic five minute warm up. So for today's uh, workout, we're trying to cover as much of the body as we can. We're gonna incorporate a little bit of cardio in there. There's gonna be some upper body, some lower body, and some abdominals. Okay, so we're gonna start off Chekho just with some normal squats just to get us warm. So remember legs shoulder width apart, right? And we're gonna sit down and drop, stand back up. Okay, ready, two, one, and off we go. So remember squats, folks. If you haven't done class before, just a quick teach. We're gonna sit back on our heels and push back. Okay, so down and up. Nice deep drops all the way down, all the way up. We are going to do the warm up together. So just keep working. Don't stop, Chekho. You keep going. Nice deep breaths as we go through it. As you get the body warm, you are gonna feel your heart rate start elevating and you are gonna feel like you're short of breath. Don't worry, that's 100% normal. Three, two, one and you can relax right little jog on the spot for me let's keep the body moving try and keep it moving the whole way through the workout okay so we're going to have our hands out in front of us what we're going to be doing is just lifting our knees up to our hands right ready two one and off we go so if you haven't done one of our workouts before we're going to give you 10 exercises to do we're going to go through those 10 exercises together then all depending on how long you want your workout to be you can either do them once twice three times and fill your time period up with those exercises. Okay, a couple more seconds for me. Nasty breaths. I'm not gonna be doing a lot of the work today, only coaching, Chekho's doing the work for us. No, <laughs> kidding. Five, four, three, two, one, and you can relax. So we're gonna keep a little jog on the spot. Right, so our next one, we're just gonna kick the heels to the bum. So both these exercises are really um, there to get the body moving and to get your muscles ready for work. Right, ready, two, one and off we go so as Cherko is kicking her heels to her bum what we're basically doing is we're lengthening out that quadricep getting it nice and dynamically stretched and then we're firing the back of the leg so we're working the hamstrings as well as the glutes okay so kicking those heels to the bum nasty breaths don't forget to keep smiling Cherko remember it's good for your abdominals eh? smiling yes <laughs> absolute hogwash right five four three two, one, and you can relax. All right, little jog on the spot, nice deep breaths. So we're gonna do a little bit of upper body work. So I want you just to find some space, just roll the arms forward, nice big rotations. Okay, ready, three, two, one, and off we go. So just roll the arms forward. We're gonna do 20 seconds forward, and then we're gonna do 20 seconds backwards. This is just a great way to dynamically open up your shoulder, your chest, just get everything nice and loose and ready for work. Nice deep breaths for me. Right, couple more seconds. Five, four, three, two, one, and backwards for me. So don't forget the backwards, Chekho. We're going backwards, nice oh, yeah. big rotations. Got you, don't worry. There we go. You can go now. <laughs> My time has started. Nasty breaths as we go through it, just rolling those arms backwards, getting everything ready, getting everything loose. Hope you guys are ready for today's workout. Just remember, as we go through the workout, don't forget to drop your comments and your feedback on the class. And obviously we're looking forward to interacting with you as we go through the session. Nice deep breaths, three, two, one, and you can relax. Okay, so we're gonna get into our 10 exercises. Like I said to you, we're gonna be doing different variations of them. We're gonna break up into our three different levels now. So remember, green is for novice, yellow is for intermediate, reds for advanced. So as we go through them, just uh, put yourself in one of those levels. If you do feel like you wanna go and do some of the exercises in red and some in green, 
you're welcome to do that. And just remember folks, if you've got any injuries, aches, pains, or any pre-existing conditions, please don't work outside the limitations of those. So if you've got a dodgy knee and we do something that irritates it, please don't work past that, okay? Right, so we're gonna start with jumping jacks. Touch at the top, touch at the bottom, and we're gonna be going for time. You can do, if you'd like, a one-sided jumping jack. Okay, ready, four, three, two, one, and let's go. So we're gonna be going for time. Nice deep breaths as we go through it. <laughs> Keep the body moving. Right, so you can see Chekho's doing the, we'll call it the advanced version of this. Are you gonna be doing red today, Chekho? Just checking. No. No, <laughs> not. All right, so when you hear a level, you can just jog in the spot. So greens, you can relax for me. Just a little jog, keep the body moving. She's going for yellow. Oh, <laughs> yellows, you can relax. Nice deep breaths, little jog on the spot and our reds, you can relax. Okay, so our next one is push-ups. I'm gonna show you quickly down on the mat. So we have our hands, if you have a mat, it's a good gauge just to uh, put your hands outside the width of the mat. We're gonna drop down and push back up, okay? So remember with a push-up, your hands need to be next to your chest and your elbows flaring backwards. If you do them off the knees, you can also do them off the knees, okay? So down we go, check, we'll get ready to rumble. Okay, so, Getting ready in five, four, three, two, one, and off we go. So very important always to remember when you're doing push-ups, and Chekhov has been doing our classes on a regular occasion, so she's getting really good at them. You can see how nice and flat her body is. We don't have a bum in the air, okay? And her hips aren't dropping to the ground, okay? She's keeping her tummy nice and tight, and you can see how her elbows are flaring back here. Right, greens, you can relax. Nice deep breaths for me. Jump up onto the feet. Yellows, you can relax. Jump up onto the feet. Little jog on the spot. She's keen to move today. And the reds, you can relax. Okay, so next exercise, we've got two variations here. We're going to do mountain climbers. You can either do them slowly or you can do them quickly. So I'm going to show you the slow version. Slow version, one leg up, other leg up. Okay, one leg up, other leg up. So we're just alternating the legs. The faster version, the knee comes up and we move nice and quickly. Note, my hands under my chest and I'm not lifting my bum up into the air or dropping it too low. Okay, down we go, Chekho. We're gonna go for time. Are you ready? In four, three, two, one, and let's go. So, listen for your color, there we go. So Chekho's op opting for the slower version, more control here, slightly less in terms of the uh, aerobic workout but definitely still focusing on all the muscles that we need to work. You can see she's got a nice flat back again, nice tight tummy, working nice and hard. Greens, you can relax. Nice deep breaths. Just waiting for you to uh, do the yellow there, Chekho. Yellows, you can relax. Nice deep breaths, little jog on the spot. And our reds, you can relax. Okay, fairly similar sort of end goal as we've just done. We're gonna do something called a walkout. So walkouts look like so. We're gonna put our hands down. We're gonna walk the body out until we flat. And then we're gonna walk the body back. Now you'll see my legs stay nice and straight. If you don't have that flexibility in the hamstrings, squat down, walk out until you flat, walk back and then squat back up. Right, ready. We're gonna go for time. Nice deep breaths. Are you ready, Chekho? Right, three, two, one. <laughs> And let's go. So hands down, walk out for me. There we go, nice and flat, walk back. Keep those arms as straight as you can on the way down. Okay, keep going, walk out. Now with this exercise, I don't mind if you do five. If you can get two in, that's great, as long as you do them properly. One of the things that's massively important with exercise is that you do the exercise right. If you do it wrong, you run the risk of injuring yourself and working the wrong muscles. So greens, you can relax. Finish that one for me, Chekho. <laughs> Caught in mid rep. Yellows, you can relax. Very nice, well done. And our reds, you can relax. Okay, Ex next exercise is onto our backs. We're gonna crunch for me, okay? So we're gonna lie flat on our backs, hands either across the chest or on top of the head or on the knees. We're gonna crunch up, back down. So it's just halfway up. So it's not a sit up, it's just a crunch, okay? Please folks, no hands on the back of the neck pulling the neck, okay? So crunch up, back down. Righty ho. We're gonna go for time again. So dropping down onto the backs. Okay, let's get ready, Chekho. Right, four, three, 
two and a half, two, one, let's go. So crunching up, yes, there we go. So Czech is still uh, developing strength in her abdominals. So you'll see she can't get all the way up yet. But the idea behind the crunch is just to get as far as you can. And then as you develop strength, we'll get further. As you develop strength, we'll get further and further into the movement. Right, three, two and a half, two, one and a half, one, and you can relax, greens. Nice deep breaths. Jump up onto your feet. Yellows, you can relax. Well done, well done. And our reds, you can relax. Good job. Okay, so next one is called a step squat. So what a step squat looks like is you're gonna do normal squats as well as sumo squats in one movement. So we go normal squat, then we go left out sumo. We come normal squat, and we go right out sumo. Okay, so it's squat, then to the left, squat, then to the right. Okay, so down we go, get ready to rumble. Four, three, two, one, and let's go. So squat down, Shekho. There we go. Give yourself a little bit more space there, away from the wall, just so that you don't squat too close to it. There we go. Okay, then back to the middle, and back to the side. Nice deep breaths. Don't forget leg shoulder width apart for that normal squat. There we go. Whoopsie, what happened to that middle one, Shekho? You're giving me a half job there. Nice deep breaths. <laughs> Whoopsie, two, one. Greens, you are done. Well done, greens. Nasty breaths. Little jog on the spot. Yellows, you can relax. Nasty breaths. And our reds, you can relax. Okay, so back into another push up movement. So you might recognize these from some of the other classes that you've done. So we're going to have our hands inside the mat this time and our elbows tucked on the side of our body. So we're going to push up and back down. Once again, if you do them off the knees, the same form applies. You can see if I go to the knees, the form doesn't change. The only thing that changes is where my knees are. Okay, so we're going to drop down. We're going to tuck the side of the body with those elbows and we're going to get going. Right, down we go, Chekhov. We are almost done with our 10 exercises. Right, three, two and a half, two, one, and let's go. Good job. So Chekhov's also building strength in her triceps as we go. So she's still working on these but she's really got a lot stronger since we started. So it's nice to see how she's almost getting down to the ground. That's always a good gauge, is the closer you can get to the ground in the push-up, the better. But just remember, as you come up, you can see her tummy's nice and tight. She's not flopping her hips around as she pushes up. Right, greens, you can relax. She preempted my relax there. <laughs> Yellows, you can relax, well done. Little jog on the spot for me. And our reds, you can relax, jog on the spot for me. Okay, so we're gonna go into something called a flutter kick. There are two variations here. Variation one is a scissor. Variation two is the flutter kick. So scissors, if you're still not quite there yet, we're gonna do the scissor. So what we do is our hands go under our bum and we go one leg down and the other leg down. One leg down and the other leg down. The flutter kicks, which are slightly more advanced, we have our legs out and we just kick in our feet as if we're swimming. All right. Down we go, Chekhov. Let's get ready to rumble. Remember, we want to put our hands underneath our bum for this. It'll just give you a little bit of extra support. Okay, ready? Three, two, one and a half, one, let's go. There we go. So Chekhov's opting for the scissor kick. That's our first variation. Remember with the flutter kick, you're going to keep those legs nice and straight and you're just going to kick them out in front of you. Nice deep breaths. Really great exercise for those lower tummy muscles. They often get neglected. People crunch themselves silly and sit up themselves silly and forget about the fact that we also have a lower half of our abdomen. Right, greens, you are done. Very nice. We're almost done, Chekhov, almost done. Yellows, you're done. Well done, well done. Nice deep breaths. Jog on the spot. And our reds, you are done. Okay, so one of my favorite exercises, the alternate lunge coming your way next. So just to show you the form, we're gonna step forward, drop the back knee, step back, step forward, step back. Vitally important to step far enough. You don't want to do one of those. That's when knees get injured. Okay, so let's get ready to go. Alternating the legs, Chekho. Right, three, two, one, and let's go. So step forward. There we go. So that knee needs to come a little bit further forward for me, Chekho. There we go. That's better. Nice deep breaths. It's vitally important that you don't put your front knee too far forward because that's where you get injured. You don't want to put any unnecessary pressure on those kneecaps. 
Three minutes to go, Chekho. Keep pushing. <coughs> nice deep breath. Right, greens, you can relax. Well done. Little jog on the spot. We got one more exercise. Yellows, you are done. Good job, everybody. And our reds, you are done. Okay, so down onto the mats, sit ups to finish us off. Now, there's a couple of uh, little tips and tricks here. If you're still new to the journey and you cannot do a full sit up, so you cannot go all the way up, all the way down, put your feet underneath a bench or a bed or get someone to hold your feet. So I'm going to hold Jekyll's feet to show you how that works. But hands are either across the chest, or on top of the head, or out in front of you. Okay, so dropping down onto the mat for me, Chekho. So if you are getting some sort of assistance in that sit-up, literally all you need is someone just to put their hands on your feet. Okay, ready? Two, one, and let's go. So all the way up, all the way down. So what this does is it just allows the person to incorporate a little bit of the quadriceps into the movement. So if your abdominals are still getting strong, it's really good to allow some extra strength just to help them a little bit as you develop and as you get stronger. Right, five. Don't use those hands, Jekyll. Only the abs. It's not a hand up, it's a sit up. Greens, you can relax. Well done. Nice deep breaths. Yellows, you can relax. Well done. A little jog on the spot. And our reds, you can relax. Right, folks, we are finished with our 10 exercises. So, if you want to get a longer workout, what I'm going to suggest is hit that rewind button, go back to just after the warm-up, and repeat. You can literally repeat this twice, three times, four times, however long you want the workout to be. So if that's you, hit rewind. We'll see you just now for stretch. If you're done with today's workout, let's get into a quick stretch. So we're just going to go through a couple of stretches just to make sure that the body is cooling down correctly. So first one, check. we're just going to have our legs shoulder width apart. And what I want you to do is keep your legs as straight as possible and just bend down, keeping your back straight. You're going to feel the stretch in the back of the hammies. Okay, ready, off you go. So Chekhov's knees, this is a good uh, point to make quickly. Chekhov's knees lock out. So if your knees are uh, locked out, what I want to suggest is just unlock them slightly. That will allow you to stretch those hamstrings. What a lot of the time people do is they actually leave them locked and then when you're bending over, you actually just stretch behind the knee and not into the hamstring. So a slight bend if you need to and just keep the back nice and straight. You want to feel the stretch behind the leg. You got it there, Chekho. Good. Okay, nice deep breaths. Right, a few more seconds. Just hold it there. Nice deep breaths. There we go. And relaxing. Okay, so you're going to grab a wall or a chair or a bench or anything you've got. And what we're going to do is just grab one foot behind you. Okay, so grab the wall for me quickly there, Chekho. And then grab your one leg and lift it up, squeeze it to the bum, and then put the knees together for me. So you want to feel the stretch right over here. We're stretching into the quads, getting them nice and loose. Nice deep breaths. Really great workout in, in the garden today. So just remember folks, you can catch these workouts anywhere. You can literally do them in your TV room, in your lounge. Hey, if your bathroom's big enough, you could do them in your bathroom. Just find some space. You can even take your phone out and do them in the garden like we're doing today. Right, relax, other side. Okay, so this time what we're gonna do because we wanna keep our hand against the wall is we're just gonna lift up with the other hand, grab the foot. You can obviously do it if you've got balance on both sides and uh, we're just gonna stretch up into that right quadricep. Nice deep breaths. Keep stretching. Hope everyone enjoyed today's workout. We're looking forward to hearing from you after the workout. Don't forget to give us your uh, your comments and your feedback and hit share on the video i mean get some other people involved a couple more seconds three two one and we can relax we're just going to finish off with a chest stretch quickly so just to show you we're going to put both our hands on the back just where our coccyx is and the idea is just to squeeze those elbows together behind you right ready stretch them out off you go if you are in an environment where we are and you have a little ledge or an edge like this, you can also stretch the chest by putting the hand up and then uh, pushing forward. You'll feel the big stretch through there. Obviously, you'll have to alternate between sides. If you don't have anything, just the stretch that Chekho and myself are doing. You're also welcome to lift the hands up and get a nice big stretch through the chest. Nice deep breaths. You okay there? Nice. <laughs> 
and relax in. Well done, folks. We, we're done with today's workout. So well done on a fantastic workout. Thank you, as always, for allowing uh, Fitness with ICAS as well as Urban Fitness Online into your homes to train you, to spend time with you. We hope you have an incredible rest of your day and uh, we're looking forward to seeing you at the next workout. So on behalf of myself and Chekhov, thanks for joining us. We'll see you soon. Ciao, ciao.